Hi guys, welcome to Ember Conference 2021. My name is Amin Mahmood and I am from Pakistan. I am running a small IT service provider company named Ala Solutions and we use Ember on daily basis to serve the needs of our clients. We used Ember for desktop applications, mobile applications and as you know, the web application. So let's begin the journey. I would like to say big thanks to my cat because she really helped me during the preparation of this presentation and as you can see that she's really helpful. Okay, so as in every application, uh, there is a beginning to start a new application. We have this command ember new and I next the project name. For the sake of uh, this presentation, we are going to use a simple listing of jobs. And I have uh, created a mock server with some jobs on there. And to deal with that, we are going to use a job model. And here is the model. And after creating the model, we would be using an adapter because an adapter is needed to communicate with a server. Here you can see that I'm using a REST adapter and my mock server is on this URL. So Ember should know that where the data is coming from. After that, definitely some UI is very important because that's what the user will be seeing. For this example, I have used semantic UI and they have Ember component as well. You can use that, but I just use their CSS from the CDN. So this is the current output so far. Let me show you some code. Okay, this is the model and this is the router. And you can see that in the router, I have two paths, one is home and this is pointed to the root of the application and the other one is the details. So when user will click on a job, it will open a details page and that detail page will show all the other information to the user which might help him score a job. Okay, let's, okay. And on the home, I'm just fetching the job from the store. This is a very standard Ember data model. This is how I'm presenting the jobs. This, these classes are from the semantic UI. And when jobs are fetched, used each helper to look over all the jobs and created a link to the details out using the model id and then presented some of the details and if i show you the example this is the output on the safari now when user would click on any of the job it will open the details and for the details I'm just passing a single record job ID which is coming from model from the link and passing that here and in the details HPS file template file I'm just presenting the contents. So that's pretty straightforward. Now let's move to the next step. Now let's create a progressive web app. To create a progressive web app, we need a couple of the add-ons to be installed. Number one is to make web app, we need Ember web app, app, web app component. Oh, sorry, pardon me, Ember web app add-on because every Progressive web app requires a manifest file which tells the browser how to deal with that. 
After that, we are going to install Ember Service Worker, which will take your application offline. And there are a bunch of add-ons for that. Ember Service Worker is the basic one to make offline. You need to install these one. The index one just caches your the index file and JS file asset cache with cache the images folder the assets folder in the public path and the cache fallback will would cache your external URLs I'll show you how so in Ember CLI build we are going to add some configuration number one is the vision strategy for the progressive web app we need that version to be updated every build and for the cache part i am going to cache the all the requests made to the mock server which i have mentioned here that application doctor and i'm also going to cache this semantic css from the cdn after that in the manifest file that can be found in the config folder okay. so here I would like my application to be full screen this is the name these are the colors and the icon and that's it so let me show you a progressive web app just go to pwa.alasmission.com and here app is running click share icon add to home page and it is added okay now you if you open that you will see that it is showing all the contents and if I turn off my internet then if I run this application again okay you would see that yep see content is loaded without the internet okay so this is the progressive web app now coming to the next step for the mobile development for that I have just created a separate branch to just save the time I have already installed different packages which were needed so uh, the Corber IO is a Cordova wrapper for single page applications. To install Corber, we just need to install the global package first. You can use Yarn or Nod NPM package manager. And then in your project, just type Corber in it and Corber start and it would definitely start the project. So let me show you how this is going to work Go start okay so and you can reinstall the packages Because I switched the branches and sometimes this happens that the yarn lock file is different for each one and we need to update okay. Okay. 
and you can see that it is working. Okay, let's run that in a simulator. Let me open this project in Xcode. So we are going to install this as a mobile application and if you already have worked with Cordova you know how the process of that you can change the different settings like icon and the permissions and push notifications everything for that all the Cordova add-ons like notifications camera access etc would definitely work with Cobra as well and okay so you can see that this is running as an application and when you hit publish from the Xcode you are going to definitely you need to provide the details and you would be able to publish this application on the App Store and Play Store. Now let's move to the other point. There are some settings which you can check on the Corpora IO. Last part of my presentation is Electron. To use Electron we need to install another add-on and then we can simply run okay. to install electron i'm going to use the beta vision because uh, they are using the latest uh, electron vision which really spotted us with the latest features like we need to install a uh, thermal printer for a POS module POS application which we developed in Ember and uh, in the older versions that uh, thermal printer was not ac accessible or giving us some trouble and that's why I would also recommend to you guys to use the beta version and after that just run under electron and usually job again I need to run the package again and here your textbook application is ready which is working now let me make a build a package for that this will create the package compile package for you guys which you can just send, send to your customers put online for downloading and uh, there are other lots of settings like changing the icon, adding custom menu items uh, in the Electron application. For that you should go to the Electron website and 
read the documentation i guess my package is ready here you would see that out folder and here my ember application is now ready to be used as in desktop application so that is that's it i would say big thanks to ember team i really enjoyed working with ember and uh, i am working for the with ember for a long time i would like to thank all of the services like ember service worker the ember web app corpor io electron js and most definitely ember observer because for a, if i need to find any add on for ember i would definitely search over here because this is the only best place to find ember add ons okay guys thank you and please enjoy rest of the conference take care bye bye